What's up guys, Jeff Boski here. Another fine evening to run deep on America's Card Room. Sign up today using bonus code BOSKI. 100% deposit bonus. Use the link in the description. $50, day, $50 of free cash spread out over 20 days when you do sign up. Make sure you hit that tab. A6 suited on the button. I'm going to use an unorthodox play versus these stack sizes in limp. Of course, there's always a five-minute delay. He's not having any of this because he's from Brazil, and we know a lot about those Brazilians. They're aggro. Note to self, limp button to trap Brasilia next time. But I guess if I'm enraged, he would have jammed anyway, so I saved 17,000 chips. Thanks all for joining me tonight. This is the $11 nightly 10K. 14 players remain. We're currently in second. Tight fold with Ace Deuce with uh, some aggro players behind us. Czech Republic in Boston. Some regs in the blinds. Oh yeah, they're going to be going after those blinds. How's everybody doing tonight? A few other deep runs, but this is the deepest, so we're going to keep it on this table. Uh, stacks are... Uh, it seems like I play tighter when, when I go live. I don't know. Maybe I should loosen it up. But when people are shove happy, it's not good to just be raising marginal holdings. I'll take advantage of that. Pocket Jacks is not a marginal holding. Blinds at 8, 16,000. We got to get after it. 38,000 in the middle. We're going to put in a standard raise. Snap folds were noted. And we take it down. Where are, my, where are my mods at in the chat? Thanks for joining us tonight. Almost $2,000 up top for $11 tournament. 961 entered, so there was a slight, a slight overlay. We'll take it. Just working on editing my new vlog where I might be leaving Las Vegas. Stay tuned. That will be coming out on Monday. It may be uh, three parts. There's so much content I got to fit in. Cannot call a jam with 9-7. I also have the other table up, paying attention to in case any hands of note go down. Above average stack, that's good. We're going to balance our sizing and timing whenever applicable. Make sure you share the channel with your friends. Let them know what quality free entertainment looks like nowadays, especially if they enjoy the great game of No Limit Hold'em. With streaming as much as possible on ACR, showing you how easy it is to take down micro tournaments for maximum profit. Not sure how many bullets I'm in for this one. I can check the cashier. Guessing between one and five. That's right. Big guarantees, big, big money. Uh, we're here to fire. We want to get that money. K 
King eight, not gonna gamble. A lot of hands with Salas. And a few familiar faces at the other table. All right, chat should be popping up right about now. Bobby Honeycutt, first in the chat. Thanks for joining us tonight. It's good to have some uh, loyal viewers. What's everybody, everybody been up to? Any drama in the news? I wouldn't know. I don't watch the news. Too depressing. Salas jammed on us earlier when we opened with Jack Nine suited, I believe. Can lay this one down. I did not shoot 700, but my teammate did, and he won two jackpots, so good for him. I had an average week about uh, 614. Currently 207 average, pretty happy about that. Came into the season with a exactly a 200 average. Looking to approve five pins every season. It's going to be tougher as we get up there, but it's good to set high goals. Pocket sixes, good hand to open with. Under the gun, it's very hard to make a pocket pair in no limit hold'em. Take it down. Kings in the big blind, here we go. All right, so the question is three bet small, shove or slow play? I'm generally against the slow play. I like to keep some bluffs in my range. So we're just gonna go for the pure three X three bet, make it look like he's got fold equity if he wants to come over the top. No, not having it, snap folds, whew. Good read, good read, sir. We'll get, we'll get you. All right, uh, Kyle Moran, I will not give you a shout out. What's up, Connor? Thank you, Kyle, Magnuson, and Moran. There's no hope with dope, John Jacobs. Shout out to Saved by the Bell. Uh, three parts, it could mean a deep run, it could mean something else. You're going to have to stay tuned. No spoilers, but this one's uh, a little bit different. Might not have as much poker. Uh, I know you guys generally thumbs down the non-poker related ones, but, you know, you got to have a little variety in your life. You can't just be non-stop hand histories and 
local $200 Vegas MTTs, those might get stale after a while. The 80K dream is alive. Bankroll challenge hasn't gone busto yet, which is a feat in itself with only 10K to start and playing big live MTTs, including two bullets that I bricked in the 1600 main, a couple 600s, 1Ks. Uh, luckily, I sell some action sometimes, do a little 10% swap with another pro, and uh, that reduces variance a, a good bit. What's up, Yazid Nato? So you made a, I forget the comment, but it was nice. On the latest vlog, you like my hair or something. Uh, something made you laugh, that's good. 3-9 off, not very funny. Let's pick up a hand. Rapidly approaching the final table. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask, as long as you're not trolling and they are in good spirits. Facing an under the gun min raise, queen nine is reverse dominated. A lot of people like to flick in the call, but I feel the range and positional disadvantage is just not worth it. So we make a tight fold. Deuce four, easy fold. Little tired, busy day, busy night last night with that deep run. If you haven't checked it out, it'll be on my YouTube channel. The $22, 12.5K, I may cash, I may win it, who knows? Tune in, watch the replay, hit the like button. Subscribe and hit the alerts bell so you know when I go live. You never know when I'm going to have a deep run or a new vlog is going to pop up. It doesn't cost anything. Three nine off, easy fold. We're in the money in the eleven dollar three K. We'll keep that off screen because this is far, far more important. Almost two G's up top. Let's get it. All right, uh, King Jack off, if folded to, we can raise call the big blind and raise fold to the other two players. Hopefully they all just fold. Guessing this guy has something like ace rag. Yeah, he's got ace rag. But I cannot continue against this action. So we lay it down. Oh, a hand caught in the cookie jar. What are you really going to fold? You can't fold. You can't fold, you're getting seven to one. Ace rag, knew it. Actually, was going to shove on him, believe it or not. Crazy Brazilians love three betting. A third of their stack is a bluff. Mm -hmm. 
no special guest tonight, unfortunately. We're flying solo with a couple dogs on National Puppy, Do Puppy Day. National Dog Day. Shout out to Clyde and Duke. Queen 10 off. Not quite good enough to open against these stacks. We're all pretty shallow. Blinds are high. Blinds go up in six minutes. Let me know how the echo and stream quality is tonight. Vamu ships it. UTG. Apparently 12 remaining. Fold. Kings! Let's get some action. Mm. Love Kings. Under the gun, min raises. Hmm. Question is to shove or to three bet? I think I like to three bet just to leave the illusion of fold equity. Just in case they want to get out of line, overvalue a smaller pair or ace X. Hold. Got him. 800,000. Really felt the ace was coming, but unfortunately for him, it did not. We are now chip lead by 200,000 chips. So this is a great situation. Just got min raise. Hopefully ISO the big blind. Small blind shouldn't be shoving too wide. Jack high is good. Got him. All right. 11 left. Things are going smoothly. A6 off. I think we got to keep the pedal to the metal here. Use our ace blocker. Vamu never gives up. And we have to fold. A6, the ugliest ace in the deck. See, this one's much prettier because we're suited and it's slightly better than A6. And we're going to call this all in and eliminate another player. Seven. Whew. Beautiful. Feels good to run good. One million chips. Hand for hand play. It's a good idea, Connor. Um, but I, I like my space. I can't just be living in a car or a van. In this instance, just might get claustrophobic. I, I need the freedom. I guess I could go outside if I want fresh air, but no, it's an idea. I appreciate the uh, idea. That's a good question, Brandon. I might go to an international tourney, although very unlikely because I really hate flying long distances. Uh, just can't get comfortable. It just, just hate the whole experience with security, all that crap. Just not a good time. We're going to raise up the queen eight, exude a little pressure with our chip lead. Take it down. We just got boned by a seven high flush draw on the other table, so we're going to focus here. Ace jack suited, beautiful. Raise it up to 420, blaze it.
Uh, yes, Yazid, his range would be uh, a lot looser versus a button range. Queen nine would play better. Subshade ZX, I see in the comments. LFG means let's go. Uh, yeah, I'd probably call with the nines if you, it's truly shoving a lot. Nine should be ahead. Got to make a stand. Jack 10 suited. I would have loved to play this hand. Unfortunately, we cannot. We have a person sitting out at the other table. It's an interesting dynamic. And we're going to lay this down. Uh, that's just uh, wishful thinking there, Joe. Why shove king high heads up for 14 blinds? It's because it's a profitable shove against a good opponent. Why shove ace-10 here? Because it's a great hand, blind versus blind. And you might call with worse, or we just take it down. You gotta weigh all the pros and cons of every action. And I definitely didn't give away first. He had me six to one chip lead. Gotta fight. Chips are very important, heads up. Ace four suited. Hmm. Interesting with the stack sizes. He definitely has a propensity to jam a lot. It's too much for me to jam in case the big blind wakes up with something, but I definitely want to open. And I wouldn't want to call his jam, but we can definitely play some play some flops. Uh, pretty dry board, a good one to see bet with ace high and get him to fold all of his non-paired hands so we can take it down. Nice. What's up, Jason Miller? I see you. I get the reference. Pocket fives. Mm, another great hand. Tempted to open jam it. Uh, how many blinds does this guy have? Uh, instead, I'm just going to raise call the shorties and raise fold to the small blind. I think that's a better play than just open jamming. It's close. All right, chipping up well. Jack seven, we can let one go. Uh, yeah. I know you'd rather see me play fewer hands when I'm deep in a tournament, but a lot of the reason I get deep in tournaments is because I'm winning a lot of pots without showdown. Bluffs are working. Uh, you know, I'm hitting flush draws and all in situations, stuff like that. You know, it's a calculated gamble. When antes are big, short-handed, you got to win all the chips. So you got to open up your ranges. Yeah, it's tough to say if I would have won or lost. Uh, again, I can only report maybe a few percent of the hands I actually play. And we're at the final table. Boom, baby. One of nine. Currently $155 locked up. Let's exert some ICM pressure. Let's see how these stacks are holding up. Same position with the Brazilian on my left. But we got the chips, so we're going to use them. Michigan, Boston, U.S. Yo, Brooklyn. Russia. 
U.S. and Germany. March 14th, what the hell? It's day today. This guy just signed up a week ago. Or a female, as they say. All right, shorties are not playing tight. Two hands at the final table and two jams. In the money in the $11 3K, but that is not important. This final table is important. $1,911 for first. Let's get it. Do they serve steak at Sapphire? Not sure. I haven't been there in a long time, but I wouldn't eat at a strip club. Doesn't seem hygienic. Confirmed, never married. Ace three, good hand to open. Uh, we can fold to this stack, this stack, but we'd have to call 420 smoke. But they shouldn't be shoving wide. They should be looking to ladder. Great flop to see bet. We're just going to put in two blinds, rep the king or a big pair. Take it down. Fold this, and I could show you guys the lobby. Oh, remember not to keep it there. There's the chip counts and the payouts. Uh, no action, no action, and we're back. Running bad in the other tournament? That's good. I want to run bad there. It all evens out. It's just a matter of when. You could run great in a $10 tournament and horrible in a $1,000 tournament. But the run god, the run good gods don't know. It's all the same math in the long run. So the secret is to run good in your high buy-ins and run bad in your low buy-ins. And make sure you sign up on ACR today using bonus code BOSKI if you haven't already. First time, sign up to po deposit bonus. I'm now a proud affiliate of RaiseYourEdge.com. The best training site on the internet. You heard it here first. If you don't believe me, check out some of their content on YouTube. It's free. Raise Your Edge on YouTube. You can see Ben CB in action. Talking theory. We got a hand. Top pair versus top top. Top top holds, and this guy is crippled. If you would like to sign up for RaiseYourEdge.com, use bonus code BOSKIAPP for the apprentice program. Doing so will knock $80 off. That's right. You're going to save $80 bucks just because you know me. 
If you want to step up your game to the highest level, I highly recommend the expert program. Use bonus code Boski EXP and you'll get $150 off your lifetime membership. He tells you everything you need to know concerning tournaments, sit and goes, cash game theory, Pio Solver, and a lot of mindset coaching too, which is very important. Some tricks of the trade when it comes to having a good positive mental attitude, dealing with downswings. These are all things that are going to save you a lot of money just by being prepared for the inevitable. Bankroll management, swapping action, selling action. These are all important things in the game. Uh, if this folds to me, I'm going to jam because of these two short stacks. Our Brazilian buddy should not call with 90% of hands, so it'll be immediately profitable. But we cannot... And he takes it down. Ooh, making the table bigger. Uh, definitely jamming the button it folded to. The links for ACR and Raise Your Edge should be in the description below. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe and get alerts to be in the loop when I'm putting out some content. That is an intense crowd. Great final table uh, custom theme. I should be getting my Site Pro badge or custom avatar soon. Stay tuned. Uh, Greg, not many, under 10, I'd say, but if you count re-entries, maybe 20. Let's try to handpick the best value ones, uh, you know, anywhere from $2 to $50 buy-ins. Uh, I never get a seat in Andrew's Wednesday night game because I'm usually bowling. Uh, Aaron, I'm going to try not to play any... <laughs> Planet Hollywood or Venetian tourneys, but there's a good chance I'll play the Piolo or one of the 365s at Planet Hollywood as much as I dislike everything about them. Distinguished gentleman has evolved to the, uh, I don't know what it's called, but the sides are shaved and the top is going slick back. It's pretty simple. No part like a nerd could be a could be a biker or something or a surfer. Who knows? It's all about evolving. Thanks, A. Williams. Your advice to tighten up and not punt it off is noted. There's a fine line between a genius bluff and a suicidal punt. And that depends if your opponent calls or not. All right. Wow. Loose ISO with King 3. Bink. Okay. Noted. Blinds are up. Uh, Juan, good question. If I could play a home game with anybody, who would I play with? Um, are you talking about profitability or experience? Profitability, I'd play with Helmuth. 
Uh, who else is a uh, Frankenberger? Who else is horrible? Um, Annie Duke. I mean, it, 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 those are the opposite of a pleasurable experience by the, those personalities, but profitability uh, is definitely some of the worst. Uh, who else just clicks buttons? Uh, some local regs. <laughs> Uh, as far as entertainment, wow. Maybe Elon Musk. Uh, I'd invite my buddy Streeter over and invite LeBron James because it's his dream to meet Le LeBron James. Mm. Patrick Antonius because he's so damn good looking. Oh, Bear Grylls from Man Man uh, Man vs. Wild, and also maybe the guy from Primitive Technology on YouTube. Uh, also, Doug Demuro from YouTube. Check out his channel. We got Jax. Be a cold day in hell before I fold Jax. Now, similar spot came up yesterday when I had Ace Jack. Question is, do you is he setting up the limp jam, or should I just jam myself? I think I should just go for the value three X. Hopefully he's planning on limp jamming an ace rag or a small pair, which we just have dominated. Or we take it down. That works. But yeah, very good question. I'll have to think about that more. Like a like a death row last dinner type of thing, but just a lot of people I'd like to hang out with. Oh, Shaq, Shaq would definitely be at my home game. Seems like a extremely funny dude. I'd be laughing the whole time. Would have jammed if folded to. Probably would still jam if I had a slightly better hand. Yeah, with those short stacks, but I think he's got something. It's pretty tight. Over 100 viewers, thanks for joining us tonight. If you happen to see me at a live tournament, say hi. I'm a nice guy. I like to talk to people that enjoy the vlog. And my friends think it's hilarious when people are shaking my hand like I'm a politician. Seven four off. We can lay this one down. Uh, about tied for the chip lead. Eight players remaining. Nine hundred and sixty-one entered. It's down to eight. I'm officially a one percenter. Uh, oh yeah, I probably won't be able to make it to the. Uh, vlogger meetup game on Monday, so if uh, anybody's looking to uh, play with me then, uh, might be a change of plans. If uh, Vegas Jaden was planning on Benny Hanna, probably not going to happen, but we'll see what happens on Monday. 9-3. Take five seconds and fold. Got that right, Greg. Smash that thumbs up button. It doesn't cost you a penny. Max value entertainment. If you like dry hum humor, go no farther. It's all right here. You can binge, binge watch my 150 previous vlogs. Plenty more coming out. I love editing. I love using my iPhone to capture every moment of my life. It just small bet. This guy might be a pro. Oh, reasonable considering the stack size. Best poker room in Vegas is clearly the Encore slash win. If 
you don't believe me, try it for yourself. Tell me why it isn't. Three five off in the muck. In the muck. All right, there's gonna be some rapid bust outs with these big, big blinds going up in five minutes. Sacks are getting shallower. Not sure the psychology of the thumbs up, thumbs down when I do poker vlogs, but don't thumbs down it because I lost. It's inevitable. I'm going to not win the tournament about 95 to 99% of the time. So just don't thumbs down because of that thumbs down because you don't like the content, you don't like my political views, uh, you thought I just played shitty. Thumbs up or thumbs down is a gauge of the entertainment you received and if it was worth your 10 minutes of time. Don't be results oriented, be content oriented. Nine, ten off. I'm gonna lay it down. How would I play Phil Ivy heads up? I trap him. He's more aggressive than me, and uh, I'd take advantage of his overly big bet sizings. He sizes too big in a lot of spots. Do we have any mods in the chat? I haven't seen a mod yet. Who wants to be a mod? What reg here wants to be a mod tonight? Let me know. We got a pair in the big blind. Uh, we could probably bust a shorty here. Uh, let's see what happens. All right, uh, yep, I think we gotta call this one. Yep, gotta gamble. Let's hold. Got him. Ooh, I love flopping sets. And he's out. 420 smoke, see ya. Blaze it. Currently seven left. 255 locked up, 1,911 for first. Uh, we'll be shoving this if folded to. Uh, uh, uh. When people do this, it usually means they don't want action. So he has something like queen jack, small pair, bad ace, compared to shoving all in. Oh, queen 10 is one off. And he's out. Boom. Now one of six. About tree fitty locked up. We'll be shoving this if folded to. And wow, let's see here. I think this is a good three bet spot with the button and the other chip leader shouldn't want to mess with us without a super premium. And we could call the blinds if they did shove. So hopefully he folds. He did not fold. Pretty dangerous flop. We're going to play a little deceptive small ball here. We don't want to play for stacks on this flop. So we're going to check it back and hope the board runs out some bricks and call down. Or put in a value bet at some point. Uh, it's not really a brick because queen jack gets there. But I think it's more likely he has a hand like king queen, king jack. Uh, as long as the 
river bricks and he checks, we're going to put in a value bet or we're going to call a small bet on the river. Good river. He could be putting us on queens or jacks at this point, the way we played it. Uh, pretty interesting size bet there. Unless he got super lucky with pocket threes. Nah. He could be value betting uh, ace rag suited at this point. Or even king queen, king jack. So we're going to put in the call. And he flopped a set. So I think we lost the minimum there. Pretty unlucky. One could argue just fold pre. Definitely. Uh, but now he takes the chip lead, so that really backfired. Huge swing in chips uh, with how that hand went down. But we're still comfortably in second place, so we can attack all the others while kind of staying out of his way. Uh, but we do have to raise his big blind here with this premium. Uh, we don't love this spot. Uh, 300k more, getting almost 2 to 1. Uh, against a Russian, snap jam, a lot of mid pairs, king queen, sometimes dominated, but we got to gamble. Oh yeah, let's hit. Those are important. Those are important. On that note, we're going to break. Good time to regroup. Fall down to three of six in chips. Two unfortunate hands with ace-10 and ace-9. Uh, pretty marginal, but I think I made the right play on both of them. Let me know in chat. See you guys in four minutes.
So, it's time to go ramble. All right, Nick Papa Giorgio, my main mod in the house. What's up, Brian? Oh yeah, I gotta look into that South Point tourney. Could be worth it, but uh, the, pro, the cons would be it's gonna be 10-handed with a bunch of old nitty guys. So keep that in mind. Lines are up. God damn it, we're short now. All right, we gotta play pretty strategic. Thanks for the feedback. Uh, good synopsis, Greg Ryan, on why the wind slash encore is a great room. Main source of income. I'm a hat salesman. Ace nine off. I love ace nine off. Facing an aggro Portuguese under the gun shove when he's last in chips. I'm pretty sure this is a call. Let me know in the chat if you disagree. Don't be results oriented. Let's win. Ace nine. Got him. Hold. Yes. Big hand. Every hand means a lot at this stage, especially when your kicker plays in those situations. $480 locked up. Puts us back in second place of five people. Easy fold here. Oh shit, bar light broker just appears out of nowhere as soon as Nick Papa Giorgio does. That's weird. You guys know each other? There might be a special guest in the chat very soon, guys. Stay tuned. Walk. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we lost a couple big hands, but it's good to keep a even kill mentally. Don't get too high, don't get too low. You just gotta stay in the zone. 
the sweet spot, if you will. Stay focused, calculated. Always be thinking about what people are doing and why they're doing it. Call. Call. All right, yeah, you got to call that. And all right. Movement of chips to a long time reg. A lot of nits, a lot of nits in the chat. Come on, guys. Live a little. No. We got a limp blind versus blind. Just under three X rays. How will the reg proceed? Limp fold. It's good to pay attention to people's uh, limping ranges, how they construct them. All right, Jack-10, this could be a good hand to see a flop with. Hmm. He's got 15 blinds. 100K in the middle. Very tempted to jam. Very tempted. The problem with not jamming is kind of caps our range, so we can't ever rep an ace, but we don't need to because we got second pair. Check it back. His limping range should have a lot of low suited hands, suit connectors, five gappers, a lot of crap. Not many aces, I'll tell you that. Uh, I think our hand's just a little bit too strong to fold the one bet, even though it is a big bet on the turn. He could He's repping a queen X type hand. But we got a pair and a straight draw, tough to fold. Jack nine gets there and he jams. We have a jack. He could easily have a lot of two pair combos, queen eight, 10, three, queen three, queen 10, three, eight, ace X, king jack. Uh, should have jammed pre. Uh, yeah, I've played a couple of tag team events. Uh, they're fun. Fields are pretty soft. Haven't done too well. Kind of blew it for my partner in the last Bellagio 1K tag team. Uh, you, could, you could see the vlog about that. You know, definitely uh, butchered some hands. It happens. But you live and you learn. Sometimes you got to make a big fold. 
or just standard fold and just know when to fold. All right, stacks. What the hell's going on with these stacks? I'm almost in last place. That's what we call negative momentum or no momentum. It's midnight, three o'clock if you're on the East Coast. Thank you, cool drummer. Good to see you. Follow me on Instagram. Name is Jeff Bobski. Chocker, I know. If you like dogs, go there to see him. Mm, River Rays on the 5678 board. Wants to show, doesn't show. Queen 10 under the gun. Mm. That hurts. That hurts. Good spot to rejam if I had a good hand to rejam. <sighs> Tempted to shove once again. But King High does have some playability and showdown value. This feels weak, checking it back. Maybe Pull one of these moves on me. Actually, I'm going to float this. King High is going to be good some percentage of the time. We got backdoor diamonds. We got backdoor straight draws. I call. Whew. There, there, there's all of it. Now the question is, huh? Bet or check? If I bet any jams, I can't call. But if I check and don't improve, he's going to bet and bluff me off it. Improve. No. God damn it, he's got like 5-4 or some shit. Can't rep much here, can't rep 9-10. Definitely don't have an ace. Definitely don't have a flush. Maybe he's just got a complete air ball and king high is good. Oh, he was trapping. Good thing I didn't jam pre. Good thing I didn't bet the turn. Saved a ton of chips. All right, queen jack. I think we got to jam this. Yep. Tie almost, yeah. I think we got to jam it. We got fold equity. He tank called ace nine. He didn't even like calling with ace nine. Let's stick it in. Two broadways. Got him. Uh, yeah, I played a few Aria dailies. Uh, rakes real high, but yeah, competition is soft. Oh uh, yeah, this the printing it isn't centered. This is the alpha version of the hat. Oh, Vicky W in the chat. You guys might know her. Everybody say hi to Vicky.
Queens versus King Four. What the hell just happened? Uh, bank with the trap. Yeah, they do have a trapping range in the small blind. These guys are good. Three high. Probably not going to cut it. Not going to cut it. I think we got to rip this and attack the other shorty. 100k in the middle. We're suited. Fold. Nice. He shoves. Oh, we're shoving this. Pocket pair, all in. Give me that 100K. Hold. Hold. Boom! New chip leader, got to win flips. Whew. Whew. It's actually, it's a flex fit, so it's a little too tight on me. I got a real big head. The ones in the store are going to be snap, our snapbacks. King Queen versus Ace Jack, standard. I just don't like wearing hats. I don't know. They gotta fit real good, like my Raiders uh fitted backwards only. It's weird. Ugh, six blinds. Chip lead. It's close. It's close. Yeah, I'd rather shove on him than call off with the king nine here. It's another close one. Another close one. What do you guys think in chat? King nine? Five minute delay. King ten, I call. All right. 
right, old Hamlet going balls to the wall from Germany. Lay it down. Yep. And he's out. Four players remain. $630 locked up. That's like 60 buy-ins or something. I'll take that. Take that, take that, take that. Good day, mate. Aussies are pretty cool people. I gotta work on my limp two and big blind game. Uh, just not sure what to do in these spots. Flop top pair. That's a, that's a good thing to do. Uh, now you know poker's all about decisions. I could raise or I could call. You can't fold. You can't fold. So I'm just gonna call. Play in position. Good turn. Uh, yep, still can't fold. You can have a variety of draws. And Stone Cold Bluffs. So we'll put in the call with top pair. Uh, I mean, Jack-10 was in his limp barreling range. But he definitely would have bet that. I'm putting him more on something like 7x or a missed flush draw. Small chance he has 9 better kicker. Don't see too much value in betting. Oh, he could have 8-10. Ah, he probably has 8-10. Aces. Aces. All right, losing the minimum over here. They're trying to trap us. Oh my God, 9-4 off. I really got to walk the shorty. This is pretty gross. Pretty gross. I'm laying it down. Sixes. I love sixes. Uh, let's see, I don't want to raise fold to the big blind. So I'm just going to rip it. Sixes play good as a all-in situation. Four-handed. Take it down. Second in chips. Hundred and twenty nine viewers. Blinds are up on my big blind. Damn it. Let's walk it out, people. Can't believe this guy limped aces and now he's min raising. He did min raise tens before as an open. Huh. All about the tight folds today. Not getting out of line with all these people here here to berate me. Don't fold to me. Don't don't do it. Oh my God! Not again. It's all about timing. It's all about timing. All right, Jack-7, we can just open and call Bink's shove if he decides to do that. Hopefully, he just folds. Good. Jack-3. 
three form. Like the King Nine discussion? Uh, yeah, we gotta defend this one. It's close. Close. Bad flop. Maybe I shouldn't defend with him covering me and this guy being so short. I can be uh, risking my tournament unnecessarily. All right, let's get three-handed. All right, you can fold to me this time. I'll shove on him. There we go. Hold. Okay. Got to win those. Big pot poker. Wow, tens versus nines, we want tens to hold. Nice, cooler, and we're now three-handed. Guaranteed $820, but our eye is on the prize. 1,911 up top. Now tied for second, he shouldn't be walking us, but we'll take it. He should, god damn it. Oh, this guy's gonna, god damn it. Well, at least he's not raising any two. Russia. Okay. Ace eight, we're all in. 15 blinds. Take it down. Picking up 100K every hand. Friendly limp. Oh, yeah, we can play friendly. Is he trapped yet? No. 140 out there. Flops well, like this flop. So we put, should play some small ball against the chip leader and attack the other similar stack. Uh, even if he bets, we have to call with our over and nut draw. Straight is good. All right, we're gonna put in the raise, get value from King X and all those two pair combos. And if he shoves, I'm gonna throw up, probably fold. But we'll take a, take a call. Just a call. That's fine. Getting some shit hands to shove on the shorty.
8 open jam. Walk. Min raise. Hmm. All right. It's got a limping and min raising range. It's gonna lay it down. Lay it down. I'd love to be shoving on this guy with top fifty percent of hands, but I keep getting bottom ten percent of hands. Shout out to Steve, my number one fan back in 2010. <laughs> Painful. All in, king, queen, it's the nuts. We got action. It's a flip. Let's hit. King, queen. Fuck. Crippled. Cooler. I know. Men raise fold. I know. I know. I know. All right. We can come back. We still got almost a blind. Walk. Fold. Oh my god, he's going to fold. Slow roll. Three. Straight. Third place, $820. Thanks for joining the stream, guys. Unfortunately, we could not close it out. The elusive first place has avoided us once again. Still a great run to defeat. 960 people to get third. Leave $1,000 on the table. Eh, not much I can do. Uh, made a lot of marginal folds. Let me know in chat if somebody, uh, if you guys think I could have played a hand differently. I'm always looking to learn. And I'll switch it over to the lobby. There it is. I guess I can stick around for five minutes, answer any questions. Poker Kraut in the chat. Oh shit. Make sure you check them out on YouTube. What's up, Will? I know you're roommates with Steve Randazzo, and he's not the best roommate and uh, doesn't do the dishes all the time, but good luck tomorrow in some multi-table tournaments. 
Yeah, chip leader did not want to apply pressure. Yeah, what's up with that Lotus of Siam, Kraut? They, they closed the one on the strip. Now, now you got to go to a new one. I saw your new vlog. I know what's up. Been meaning to go there. But if you guys haven't already, of course, sign up on America's Card Room using the link below. Use bonus code BOSKI, 100% deposit bonus to be released as you play. And, of course, 20 days of free cash up to $50. Pretty much a guaranteed $50 if you just click the button every day. Um, and of course, check out RaiseYourEdge.com. This is the number one training site in my book. Ben CB, one of the best crushers in the game for tournaments, sit and goes, and cash games. You'll learn a lot just from the free YouTube videos if you really like it. Please sign up using my bonus code Boski APP for the Apprentice Program or Boski EXP for the Expert Program. The first one will get you $80 off. The second one will get you $150 off. Very important stuff. It will. It's an investment in your poker future. I can see if you're about to quit poker and you're not about to play tournaments that you want to win. But if you want to win, sign up on Raise Your Edge today. I mean, of course, I just got third. I didn't win. So I need to study some more Raise Your Edge videos, some range analysis, uh, you know, some pile solver and shit. Uh, Kraut comes in the chat and takes over the party. Standard Kraut. He's probably uh, having midnight snacks and giggling with his woman. That's how Kraut do. And here's my bust out hand. King Queen. Let's see some reactions. I like the shove because the small blind shouldn't call uh, very light with ICM pressure since we both have almost the same exact stack. But Ace Jack's just uh, a little bit too strong to fold. Not entirely sure. It's kind of like a sit and go, but it's not. But blinds are high. A lot of money out there. Reg takes us out in a 45-55 gamble. That's it. Thanks for joining the chat. All right, uh, yep, wrapping it up. Going to take the dogs for a walk, and I'll see you guys next time. Hit the like, subscribe, and alerts button to know when I'm going live. Tell your friends, share on social media, uh, buy a, a Go Ramble or No Gamble hat. 
in the store. Uh, it should be in the link below. If not, it's on the most recent vlog to the Big Frog store. $10 shipping, so you might as well buy two things, get more bang for your buck. The hoodies are very nice. Highly recommend them. Uh, pull over if you're chubby. Uh, the large tall if you're skinny and tall like me. Thanks for joining us.